Greetings from Microwaves 101. Today, we're gonna to talk about what I call the joystick gamut amplifier. This is an ideal amplifier modified so you can control the magnitude and angle of the input and output reflection coefficients, otherwise known as gammas, and steer them all over the Smith chart. Independently, you can also control the transmission gain and phase. This model is gonna be useful in developing an understanding of power combiners and power dividers used in a solid state power amplifier. In particular, I want to use it myself to examine the case of what happens in a reactive power combiner when you have mismatched uh, amplifiers, but we're going to leave that lesson for another day. So now forgive me whilst I share the screen here because I'm not good at doing two things at once. And here we have the circuit schematic of the joystick gamma amplifier. So it starts out as microwave office's ideal amplifier, which basically only allows you to control the gain and its characteristic impedance. We've added an input and output resistor to it, and the resistors are used to increase the VSWR. So if I put a 50 ohm resistor on the input of a 50 ohm amplifier, that's gonna give me a two to one mismatch. If I have a 100 ohm resistor on the output, that would give me a three to one mismatch. And as you know, VSWR and gamma are all related. You can look up the, the uh, equations for uh, going back and forth, but it's just very convenient to use VSWR when we're dealing with these resistors. So there's also three reciprocal phase shifters that are added in there. <clears throat> there's one on the input, which allows you to control the phase angle of gamma when it has a, a VSWR greater than one, and also a Phase shifter on the output that does the same, allows you to control the output reflection coefficient phase angle. There's one in the middle that controls the transmission phase. And because anything you do on the input and the output is going to affect the transmission phase, there has to be a correction in here. So we have to subtract out the, uh, the reflection phase angles. So that fully decouples the input and output phases from the transmission phase, as, as you will see. Uh, at the top, you can see the tunable parameters gain, which I left at zero dB, just so it appears on the Smith, Smith chart for convenience. You have the input and output VSWRs. You have the phase angle of the input and the output and the transmission phase. And uh, another thing I want to point out, because I used resistors on the input and output to change the reflection coefficients, that affects the, uh, the, the gain of, of the unit. So there's two effects. If I put a resistor in front of an amplifier, it forms a voltage divider. So if I had a 50 ohm resistor in front of a 50 ohm amplifier, that's going to lose half the voltage gain. And uh, at the same time, if I make 50 ohms in front of a 50 ohm amplifier, that makes a mismatch. So I have to correct for the mismatch loss as well as the voltage divider loss. And that's all in here. And you can download this entire project from Microwaves 101, or you can go to the page that it appears on. Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what that is. Check back later and uh, the equations will be there. Now let's, let's head to the Smith chart and play with the joystick. So it's, it's not really a joystick. All we have is the tuner here. So, um, S11 is the input reflection coefficient. It's in blue. In purple is S22, the output reflection coefficient. And then in brown is the transmission phase. So by changing the VSWR of the input, I can fully match the amplifier. I can put them right in the middle. I can spin them out. Uh, I can do the same with the, the output match. And then I can change the phase of the input. I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. That's transmission phase. I can change the phase of the input independently of the phase of the output. And here's the output phase. So I could line them up so they're perfectly in phase with each other, or I could make them, you know, worst case, they're 180 degrees apart and have VS, high VSWRs. So it'll be interesting when we uh, examine this at the next higher level. And I just want to point out that the um, gain of the of the amplifier has not, its phase angle has not changed. It only changes when I change it, when I direct it to change with this tuner. So the input phase does not affect the transmission phase. So everything's decoupled. So there you have the joystick gamma amplifier and uh, hope this was uh, understandable and 
in the next exciting chapter, we will apply this to a reactively combined power amplifier and see what happens. And there you go.